Come on, like, there's a new home over here, buddy. Come on. Come on. He's a very confused dog. There's a home here. Over here. Come in. Over here. What do you mean coaxing? Oh, yeah. Maybe he doesn't. Hello everyone, <clears throat> and welcome back to part 5 of my Rise to Ruins Let's Play. Now, it's been a while since I've actually played this particular game. Um, uh, let's just say there's been a few updates um, since I last played it. A lot of, lot of different, you could say different changes, different, um, um, different buildings. Um, the good thing about Indie games that they they change so much that you could take a break from a game for about you know a couple of months then you come back it's a completely different game um but in the, basically in the last episode we built these walls to protect us from the evil that is growing over here so basically our job right now is to basically build the space out and get a really good defense going um and basically hold off the bad guys um, when they're gonna come at us because at night these guys these guys tend to to charge it. Yeah, they just keep going this way and it kind of works on a little pathfinding um, So we want to get these walls up as much as we can. So let's get this up the top We're heading into the evening. So we're gonna run out of time fairly quickly um, And we're gonna get get some defense now Farming has been Updated since I last played this game. So I've got a the way I'd normally do farming isn't how I've set up this base here. <laughs> uh, it's a bit all over the show. So I've got plenty of housing. So we've got 20 housing up here. Um, we'll probably want to get a ranger there. Well, what have we got here? Let's, let's switch this around. Um, what do we want? We'll listen these builders here and we'll get more get more organizers um, now I have to work out what I what I did last episode I probably should have watched the last episode um, to actually work this out all right so I've got this rule now so for every 10 you want to build a farm well you know for, for every like a lot of 10 so like the one per one per 10 but the minute it goes to 11, you want to build another one. So that's what we're going to do here. Because um, that seems to be the right measure for me to get, essentially be sustainable. And to get enough food. I really mucked up that. That's going to annoy me. It's slightly off. I can't build them right next to each other. I really have messed up the layout here. This is going to annoy me from an OCD point of view. Um... All right, let's, we'll put that there then. And that should fill our quota there and we'll build another one of these guys. An actuary, um, and so we can get more, get more um, organizers going. Um, we'll build an actuary, it's, it's also storage. It's a good storage spot. Um, so let's build that up. Oh, let's build that on the, where do you want it? Where do I want it? I'll build it there. Build it there for now. But the most important thing right now is getting our defense organized. Because I think, yeah, we've got that wall sorted there. We've got the wall coming together. We've got that locked off. There's not really any... Yeah, there's not any way they could slip through there, I don't think. Well, let's, let's test something. Yeah, I don't think so because the trees are in the way. Yeah. I think we're I think we're good. I think we're I think we're good there. So really, we need to get this sorted before our evening takes over. It's going to be it's going to be rather tricky. So we've got a gate there. And we've got defense. We'll probably want to build this build these out these bow towers probably along there. And as we expand, because that, that means we can kind of build this out along here and we can get more land. 
think it's going to be rather useful. I think water's going to be an issue too. Let's make sure we're farming all that water. Our population is quite low. 12 is quite low. We're going to need... We're going to hopefully get some soon, but we're going to need some nomads. So what happens is randomly... Um, you get wanderers who want to join your village and that's the best way in an early game to get um, a lot and have extra workers and an extra population obviously they breed and obviously if you look down here George Robbie <laughs> mated with Margot Robbie so and now Margot Robbie's pregnant so we're gonna get another worker either way we'll start off as a as a child How are we going here? We nearly got our walls going. And I think I think we'll get it we'll get this bow in our second priority spot, eh? So the wall's first priority, and the second priority can be can be a bow tower. Actually no, that's gonna have to be our second priority, because we can't use the bow towers without actually any arrows. It's gonna be rather important. got a lot of problems. This is not how I would set up my village if I was going to start again. This feels very unorganized, Dave. You should be very ashamed of yourself. <laughs> uh, what are we... How have we got everything organized? We've got farmers at two. Our farm's quite low. Hmm. There's not much they can do. Alright, well, we're going to have to upgrade the rangers to two, because that's going to be our only defense here against these monsters who are going to come at us from down here. Not too many at the moment. I think it's manageable. We'll probably get probably one or two problems. There's a doggo too, so let's capture the dog. We'll try and, we'll try and encourage him, you could say, to join the village. Come on, like, there's a new home over here, buddy. Come on! Come on! He's a very confused dog. There's a home here. Over here. Come in! Over here! Why don't you coax them? Oh, yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to live with us. Oh well. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie wants to live with us. Maggie's a good, good dog. Alright, so we nearly got the wall up at least. That's some kind of defense. Our rock supplies are pretty good. Not really any other way to speed it up. I just need workers right now. Just need workers. I mean, I could speed it up by increasing my builders somewhere. But I don't really have any anywhere I could take the hit. I mean... I mean, trashes, there's not a lot of trash right now, so maybe I'll, I'll deplete the trashes. Upgrade the builders. Just have to make sure I switch, because trash can get on top of you really quickly, if you're not careful. And I, I do want to make sure the farmer... Where is my farmer? Oh, he's chilling out at home. He's just chilling out. I want to make sure that we're, we're turning over our food. Oh look, he's going to farm there. There we go. So we're, we're going to want that, because that's a renewable resource, and we want to make sure the renewable resource we make the most out of. Um, we might as well see. Ooh. You can't see what I'm doing, but there's a little toggle down here. I shouldn't really cover it, but there's, there's four... Remember my last video, I didn't cover it, but this video I have covered it. Um, four little buttons down here where you can tell them how to harvest things. You see it on my last video, obviously. This is not the first video you've seen at this point. You may, maybe, yeah, it is. Your first video of of Rise to Ruins, and it's really fun indie game. I do recommend it. I follow the, the developer on Twitter. He's a very, very smart guy. I like him a lot even encourage me to get into video game development. That's right, people. I am trying 
to build my own game which is going to take me forever and ever and probably will never actually be created we'll see all right so we've nearly got our wall done i've got a little bit of a gap here which i don't oh there's there's a zombie there's two zombies that's not good um let's get a holy goal and call them out a lot of the time I just pick them up and just dump them somewhere, but I think we're going to have to start fending for ourselves a little bit. And the Holy Golem, up in my spells, is probably going to be the best one to hold them off. Ooh. You know, for, for a ranger or a guard, I'm not very good at guarding. Neither are you. My two guards are just running away. <laughs> oh no. The last line of defense turns out to both of them just ran back home. That's not a good sign. I need I need to get this going so I can get more bows and arrows and, and some kind of defense. And there's another one there. Alright, that time we are going to move you there. We're going to dump you in there. I'm going to have to play guard a little bit and defend, protect my little, my little minions. Oh, there's another one. Hold up. My guards are useless, apparently. I'll probably put him there. He's probably going to end up... Oh, no. He's going to walk away. Alright. At least we've got my wall up. But the problem with that, I don't really have any defense, so... They're probably going to attack that as soon as they can. I'm going to have to put that in third priority. And that's fourth priority. Oh, nearly there. Got a little, finally my walls up, so now this is gonna to have to go number one. Number one priority because we need defenses, otherwise we aren't gonna last very long and everything is damaged. The lightning I think that damaged us there. Alright, a holy golem is gonna try and protect us, but I'm not gonna be able to summon another one. It's pretty much our last line of defense here. Oh, finally, this because he's so weak. And, yeah. You two are the ones that come in the last minute. It, the, those two are the last... It's kind of the equivalent of someone working on a project with you. They come at the end and claim all the credit. That guy won't get any credit. The Holy Golem's going to die soon anyway. Those two are just going to go around bragging to the village of how well they did. And George, you're going to be a parent soon. <sighs> Get your life together. And there's some more down here. You, you, you two want to want to help out this time? Yeah, you're coming finally. <laughs> Resource management. Oh yeah. No. All right. So let's get get this is going. So I normally try and keep this on par with how many villages we have. So this is um the how many bows and arrows we're going to generate. And this, I kind of want to max it at a hundred. I don't want to be unlimited yet, because I don't want to waste so much wood. So our wood resource is a little bit limited. Um, but I need, what am I going to do? Uh, let's reduce the builders. Actually, we'll reduce that to two, and reduce the trashes. Um, stretch with resource. The most important resource right now is population. I'm really stretched with my people and where I'm going to put them and he's attacking a wall get out of here get out of here oh, there's a... my golem is nearly dead and I don't have enough magic to save the day I'm going to save the day yep cool <sighs> yep I'm it's going to be defenses that we just have to focus on before the next night. These guys aren't cutting it right now. And this guy, this needs someone making arrows and loading up a bow tower. Because we're kind of funneling them down here. This bow tower is going to be the, essentially the, the best defense for us right now. And I'm not seeing much traction traction at all of getting that and I'm running low on food too things are not going 
in the direction where you want them to go right now. There's some food over here, so let's bring that a bit closer. Ah, oh, my magic's so low. Hmm. Yeah, my magic's so low, I'm struggling. To help them out. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good, and I've got a lot of the night to go. We're gonna have to God saving mode here. Alright, let's pick one. Yep. Turn on there. I'm gonna have to hope that they're gonna defend themselves. Well, the gate's nearly done. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm gonna drink some water. Ooh, would you look at that? That suddenly fixed itself. Oh, because the golem vanished. Oh, there's an egg. I should build a chicken coop as well. I forgot about that. Oh, come on, guys! So then the holy golem, it looks like, was sucking up all that, all that magic. I'm not used to the magic being that low, so that's probably why I don't normally notice it. Um, all right, let's help these guys out. Yep, I'm going to have to go heavy on defense right now. This is not going the way I need it to go. Hmm. We need to get that going. Hmm. What's this guy doing? He's only made one bow since I spawned you. He's very hungry. It's Margo Robbie. Why did we get the pregnant person to work on the one thing that we need to survive? I don't think she's exactly in the best health condition to do this. Alright, that's not good, so I'll... See, you can't do this too much. Because that's not going to save them forever. Two bows. Build those. <laughs> Build the bolts. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you can prioritize a particular item, which is frustrating. Because right now, we don't need bows. But, I mean, it would be good for the guards to have bows and arrows. And it might help them kind of hold the line a little bit better than how they're going at the moment. But we nearly got another farmer. So at least that is positive, even though we're running a little bit low on food, and I think food is going to be an issue for us right now, so we might have to put all our resources into probably just upgrading it. It's only going to cost me wood. don't really have a lot of wood. I might have to work on, work on my supply chain, you could say. Oh god. This is not going good at all. Alright, we'll dump them over here. A lot of them. It's four of them. This needs some arrows. Oh, we got some. We got some bolts. I need a. I need an arrow. I need a hero. There we go. What are you going to that one? What did that one not not impress you enough? Is that why? It wasn't built to your standards. There we go. Now it's locked and loaded. I don't think it can reach the... Oh, are you kidding me? It can't reach the gate. So now I'm going to lock, lock and load that one. The one they have locked and loaded, it can't actually reach the gate. It's not even going to be out of hit, that is it. Yep, it's just out of range. <laughs> That's just mean. Alright, oh, let's target practice. How about that? There we go. Look at that. Takes a massive hit. Oh. So, 
that means we're gonna have to start thinking about pathfinding so first we want kind of want to clear that out of the way and then we kind of want to build we kind of want it three because I don't, you don't want the AI to get all confused so we're gonna build oh, I can't build that all right well let's get rid of this fire pit we don't need that fire pit anymore cool so we are going to build that there and we'll make that a high priority so what we're going to do here is we're going to want to trick the ai to kind of go around a wall here so this bow tower can take them out um obviously we're going to need a lot more bow towers and a lot more ammo but we also need a defense that I don't need to rely on picking people up and putting them down again. So that's not going to work out very well for me. Um, so we're going to have to start, because what ideally what I want to do is, is build a huge wall right across and force the AI to go right down the bottom all the way and the gate will be about here. Once I get my defenses up. And then I have plenty of real estate up here to build out my forces to eventually take back all this land. Because this, as you can see, this gets bigger and bigger every time. Um, so eventually I want to kind of put it in like a little... Smaller than a quarter of the map will be isolated to just that. And then we should be able to defend. And then we can move to a different territory. Um, and that's the goal. You want to move to every territory and essentially take it over. Um, alright, we're getting rid of that fire pit. Hmm, our food is going to be an issue, and we're, we're in a bit of a bind here. Let's reduce the organizers for now, and get back up the farmers. Oh, we can, we can reduce that now. Um, let's switch the organizers up. We need more building slots, because I need to start thinking about building kitchens and farms. And I think we need to upgrade these farms ASAP. We need bigger farms, because this isn't going to work. Might even build, build bigger farms. Um... I'm trying to work out what we do. We're not in a good state. I know it doesn't look like much. You know, it looks like everything's going all right. We're in a bad state here. We've got limited defenses, not a huge population. 12 is quite standard and essentially what you start with. Um, we've got a lot of room for extra people. So if any, any nomads out there want to pop along, now would be a very, very good time for them to arrive. We are in desperate need more workers to speed things up here. Well, I'm going to get these guys to clear it so we can start at least start our, our pathing. I don't know why this they aren't supplying them. Like, are you still hungry? Oh no. I don't have a lot of food, do I? I'm going to, I'm going to hunt some food for Margo. Can't have Margo dying on me. Alright, there's some food here, so let me be my magical god and just dump some food because based off what I'm looking at there they've only got eight food so they're gonna need some more yeah we're gonna have to focus on food and defense at the moment oh, we're in a, this this is the type of game that if you make a slip up slip up it's not an hour or two hours or sorry an hour or an hour and a half that you need to go back. You essentially you would have to go back a couple of hours to fix what you missed. So we have to be very careful. And right now, I think we're we're going to be messed up because of our food and our defense. Until we get our population up, we're going to be very limited in what we're going to be able to do. They were just questioning things. What is life? All this food, and then we're just like, what a, what's life? What is love? I wonder, did that doggo end up? I'm assuming so, yeah. 
I think that dog are that spacious wooden Wilkinshire. Wilkinshire. All right. So let's make that a high priority because we're gonna have to expand these. Oh, there we go. We've, we've planted some carrots, so gonna it's gonna help keep the keep the stats up. Now they did change the UI here, um, so we might add a couple of things. So what do we want? So we want to know about our arrow supply. Ooh, Thad Robbie. Oh, there you go. That's Margot Robbie's kid. Thad Robbie. So now we've finally got one person, and our population is now 13. But that, that's a kid. He's not going to help us right now. Um, yeah, we're going to need to know our our arrows. Um, what else do we, we need to know? Probably a bottled water eventually, but we won't put that on right now. I think we're good. I think that's all we really need to know. We just need to get food supplies up. That is the main priority here. Hmm. This is one of those scenarios we kind of have to sit and wait. I could speed up the game, but I hate doing that, especially in this game. Um, ooh, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter is pregnant. Good job, Luna. What? Good job. Good making love, Lovegood. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, I don't like... I mean, I don't like speeding up sim games or, or colony survival games in general. Because... You tend to, I tend to screw up quite a lot. And also I find them quite peaceful. Just be able to sit there and watch the minions run around. I've got four dogs now, do I? I've got five dogs. Oh my crap, all of a sudden they're all about joining the colony. Uh, yeah, right now we need to increase our foods. So we'll probably upgrade those farms. Probably can't upgrade them all the way. Just upgrade them enough to be the second tier up. So at least that, um, essentially it, it increases it by 50%, I think, of how many crops they can plant. So in the long run, that will help us. Alright, did we end up... Yeah, we got the treasure back. I think we're going well with our treasure. Can you hold 140? Oh no, it's, it's at the moment 143. And it can hold 256. So I think we're going to be good in that space anyway. Hmm. We'll turn off the music for a bit. Oh, actually... Gloom. Ah, no, we'll leave it on. Good playlist. <laughs> That's nearly there. Yeah, this place is really lacking nomads. Ooh, what are you, uh, ooh, corruption. Yeah, I know about corruption. Yeah, it's starting to grow. Look at that. Well, maybe we could destroy probably a fire pit. We'll, we'll get rid of one of these fire pits. I don't understand how that is not being supplied. We've got six there. Hmm. Don't know what's going on that one. Um, what do I want? What do I want? I mean, I could build. Hmm. My gut says build more bow towers. And we'll probably need one more to really feel like we've got defense up. But I'm thinking about maybe another farm. Hmm. It's a hard one. We've only got one building slot. I'm not quite sure. 
what's going to be the best fit. So I know I said I was going to get, um, so you can get an animal pen so that you can get, you can basically capture these wandering buffalo, beefaloes, um, or, or a chicken coop. But the problem is they need a kitchen as well. So you basically need two slots. And I believe building a kitchen requires, yeah, cut stone. So we're not at, actually at that point yet. We can do that. All right, we are going to build a bow tower. And we're gonna build it a bit closer to the gate. But that covers, that range covers it, right? All right. Yeah, it covers it. All right. So as we wait for these farms to be built, um, we're actually in the episode there. So thanks everyone for watching. I uh, really appreciate you watching this game. Um, I'll put links below if you want to look for it on Steam or buy it yourself. Um, it's a really fun game. Um, I'll put a link to the developer's Twitter actually on this video. Because um, yeah, he's a, he's a good sort and I do follow his, his, his stuff you could say. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, anything like that put a comment below like it i do make another um episode you could say um depending on if anyone actually wants to watch see another one um and or if i get if i get bored and need a game to play um but i'm more likely to make one faster if you leave a comment so let me know if you want to see more um and until next time